गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चो ये एक ब्रीफ सेशन है विद धीरज कुरकुंदर इन दिस सेशन स्पेशली विल बी फोकसिंग हाउ टू कोप अप विद योर बोर्ड एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन एंड एज वेल एज आई टी जेई एडवांस प्रिपरेशन धीरज जिसने जेई ट्वेंटी टू एडवांस में एथ रैंक हासिल की थी इस ब्रीफ सेशन में मैं आपको स्पेशली धीरज से पूछूंगा कि कैसे प्रिपरेशन करना चाहिए बच्चों को किस बात का ध्यान रखना चाहिए सो धीरज अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ योर पैकेज फैमिली बैकग्राउंड ऑल्सो हेलो एवरीवन आई एम फ्रॉम हैदराबाद एंड माय फादर इज अ बैंक एम्प्लॉय ही वर्क्स इन कर्नाटका बैंक एंड माय मदर इज अ हाउस मेकर आई आल्सो हैव अ सिस्टर शी इज करेंटली स्टेडिंग इन ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद थर्ड ईयर सी एस कॉलेज फिरज व्हाट मोटिवेटेड यू टू स्कोर सच अ हाई रैंक इन जेई एडवांस 2022 व्हाट्स योर मोटिवेशन सो आई वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द कांसेप्ट ऑफ जेई इन सिक्स्थ क्लास has not uh, so specialized for the preparation but uh, gradually i felt that i started taking the, the math thing physics and chemistry subjects so that actually propelled me uh, to think of a ge as a in a serious way to prepare for it in a serious way from 8th class on any of you all let's say uh, elder sister brother already cracked the itj yeah, yeah as i was saying my sister is taking triple it she also cracked the itj exam and uh, she all she was also a constant uh, motivation factor and she also gave uh, advice to me there is a scored very good rank eight rank so what was your time table how did you manage all your studies both exam preparation as well as j main j advanced so what was your time table so my time table was uh, simple like every day i used to uh, contribute at least some amount of time for all the three subjects it was not like i used to do only one subject per day and at the end of every week i used to give one day specifically for to revise all the previous topics so that i am in touch with all the topics and uh, i can write the exam at any point of time okay so let's say you uh, did uh, prepare our time table and follow that religiously or you keep on changing the time table because many of these friends what they do a let's say they prepare a time table uh, follow that time table for one two uh, three days then again their uh, okay. their time table gets disrupted They again prepare a time table. What what is your let's say experience? How should a student prepare a time table? Yeah, so I agree with this. Uh, there is no need to, to prepare a strict time table and uh, stress yourself towards following that. It's just like you can prepare a time table on a daily basis also. On that day, whatever subject you have to do or what is the work you have to do, just at the start of the day just plan only for that day and try to execute that properly for the next day you can think thanks okay so especially the students who are appearing for the board exams let's say those who are studying in class class at the time how to let's say balance between the whole studies and the jee preparation so what's your experience in this so my advice is uh, for those who are preparing for jee advanced serious uh, you actually don't need to worry uh, with the mpc parks the board exams because it is going to be a cake on the part of the advance so the things you need to focus will be mainly the language and uh, with my experience i am saying that uh, one and a half month is uh, more than enough to prepare for the board exam so if you are really confident with your advanced preparation then that one and a half month must be sufficient for your book you need not worry about career uh, preparation take j advanced preparation duration it's uh, at least uh, two years or three years of journey in this journey there must be some highs and lows you must have felt uh, as a low any of preparation of how to tackle this let's say uh, how to tackle uh, let's say this low in the exam preparation how to keep your motivated throughout this uh, long preparation journey so you explain like i believe that uh, we can't do we can't do the best in every examinate like that is not possible on every day but like we should aim that uh, like we should uh, get the most of us outside when we are in the examination hall and that if one or two exams go low we need not take too much amount of stress that uh, my rankings are going low it happens with everyone the only thing which we need to keep in mind is we are doing proper error analysis after every exam because once we start doing the run analysis we will see that uh, our grades will slowly start improve okay 
Thank you, Dheeraj. And uh, one more thing is, let's say, uh, many of these friends, uh, let's say this year, also have appeared for JE main attempt one. Some of them uh, might not have scored that well. So what is your, let's say, suggestion, what is your advice for the students who couldn't perform that well in the JE main first attempt? So my advice is, uh, you should take out the unsuccessful section, uh, at least for the physics and chemistry yeah, I think so. and uh, try to go through the complete NCR tables from line to line. Like, uh, you need, you need no bucket for everything, just try to understand the concepts which are taken. Because uh, most of the means papers is from the NCR tables, and uh, doing this is indirectly going to help you in your board exams also, because the preparation will essentially be the same thing. Uh, anything, anything about the examination temperament? Because many of these pets feel that they can solve the question at home. They can solve the question, almost every question at home. But in the exam, the same question appears to be very tough for them. So anything about examination temperament? Uh, for this, I suggest that uh, our goal should be to attempt all the easy and moderate questions first. So for that, um, it's better if we encounter a tough question, then we first feel it. And uh, just go through the complete paper first, solve all the easy and moderate questions, and then in a second round, come back and do the tough questions. And one more thing is, by writing your it's good if we just uh, don't concentrate on the final result and just keep our full concentration on the question which we are solved next. I would also like to know, let's say, what's your experience with resonance, with this serial, how this went to, let's say, take out maximum from the resonance material. Yeah, uh, so I'm a DFB student, so uh, resonance material is really good. Uh, first thing is in resonance material, let's start from the theory part. They explain the theory very in a neat fashion, in a basic fashion. And then uh, the level of questions is also well segregated. They uh, like they have uh, three classes of problems. The first class is above the very basic level. You can understand it like the mains level of questions. The second level goes to a relatively tough questions. Uh, these are the typical G advanced type of questions. Like uh, they engage your, uh, they engage you in uh, thinking more. And the final class is about the previous G questions. So I'll suggest that each and everyone should at least complete the level one questions because uh, that is like uh, the minimum requirement for the GE exam. And before going to the exam, uh, one should definitely solve at least four to five previous year questions because that will actually uh, set the ground during the exam. You can tackle the exam in a more uh, calm fashion if you do that. Okay, Dheeraj, you already are in IIT Mumbai, uh, Computer Science IIT Mumbai. So what's your experience in IIT Mumbai? How is it different from, let's say, the coaching and that, that we, let's say, IIT Mumbai? That's a different, what's your experience in IIT Mumbai especially? Yeah, so it's a wonderful experience there. Uh, I should say, uh, like, uh, our routine completely switched in IIT, we are completely focused only towards one goal. The main thing after going there is uh, there are a lot of things to do, like you can explore whatever you want. So it's good that uh, you have your uh, goals set, like what you have to do. You need not have a perfect uh, path ready for your future, but you should have at least a rough idea of uh, what you are supposed to be doing. And apart from that, uh, you have a lot of extracurricular techniques so. You get engaged very easy. Okay, dear. Uh, you are already in Mumbai. This is your first year. But any anything specific about the future? Uh, any thought of uh, any future plan? Mm -hmm. uh, now I just plan to do MS after Blue Tech, and then I will see what it is. Okay, it's not something. Okay, and uh, definitely a piece of advice for the future students. Those who will be waiting this year for the ad, and maybe next year uh, for the next year. So, I would next year any suggestion, the let's say motivation word for the future experience. Uh, one thing I like advise is uh, during the preparation, you should more focus on enjoying uh, the preparation rather than just um, keep worrying about the rank which you are going to get. Because if you keep enjoying the preparation at the end, you are going to get a very good rank. Thank you. Uh, finally, uh, the subject part which you are going to have matters only 60 percent. The other 40 percent depends on your exam temperament, how you are going to handle your emotions during the exam. That is the other 40 percent. So keep that 40 percent in mind. Because that is what uh, keeps GE advanced apart from all other examinations that we have by the God.
Thank you, Deeran. Thank you for the wonderful insight about the examination. That's uh, really, uh, I think, a wonderful session, week session. So, uh, future aspirants, sabhi bachcho ko mera advice aayega ki apni preparation jo hai, jaise aap ko jaise ne guide kiya hai, bahut hi acha score karein. So, best of luck all of you. Uh, for let's say those who would be appearing for this April attempt and for mm -hmm. JEET. That's all from our side. Thank you, Deeran. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, sir.